Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, referee Sean McLaughlin. Introducing first, standing in the corner to my right, winning it tonight at 225 pounds, he is the challenger, a former ICW0G champion, former two-time ICW heavyweight champion of the world. He is the Iron God, Chow <laughs> Coffee. The Iron God. Not a man, not a king, but a god. But look at that, with that god-like physique on him. I've never seen Joe Coffee look better. And his opponent, standing in the corner to my right, from Glasgow, Scotland. He is the king of insanity, the new age pharaoh of filth, the leader of the filthy generation, a former ICW Tag Team Champion, former ICW0G champion and a two time reigning, defending, insane championship wrestling heavyweight champion of the world. This is something that only happens once in a lifetime. Stevie Boy has returned to ICW. He has been a fighting champion, but he is being hunted, I believe, by the Iron God, the insane almighty of Joe Coffey. Here we are, injured champion against rebellious challenger, and they can't stand one another. We are told that once again, Stevie Boy has survived the Empire test, has survived the doctor's testing, the rigorous testing that takes place backstage. But are you ever truly 100%? He is going to be tested here tonight against the all powerful Joe Coffey. Well, the doctors can say what they like, but Joe Coffey might have something else to say about that. He will do whatever it takes, even if it means ripping Stevie Boy's leg clean off. He'll do it. The definity of destruction certainly will have no qualms about taking Stevie Boy apart. Trying to get with a side headlock and the power of Joe Coffey just anchoring himself like Sean O'Block. Last thing you want to do with Joe Coffey is engage in that former rugby standout. Went for all the best for the Bells early on. All right, a lot of work's been done. You know that a lot of hours have been taped, footage has been watched. Take nothing away from the braggadocious nature of the challenger here tonight. He takes this so seriously. I have watched for six years, six years in Joe Coffey as he has went from an impressive rookie to the very top, the premier, the original hybrid athlete in pro wrestling today. Oh, oh come on the, the knee, that could be a knee. knockout. He's out, that he's could out. Be a knockout. A series of flurries of punches, Sean McLaughlin keeping his out. Coffee's down. Joe Coffey went Coffey's down, down face first. Referee Sean McLaughlin checking. Bone on bone, he knocked out red lightning with that. Well, that could be it. He's out, he's out. Imagine what that would mean for this main event of such a prestigious weekend, the biggest weekend in European wrestling, and Stevie whoa, whoa, Boy whoa. might have KO'd. Coffee's in trouble. I think, I think he was out. There's no one home. Look at the way those eyes are swirling around in his skull. I'm, I'm telling they're scrambling our medical team here, our first aid, there she is. Those eyes are glazed over. I'm telling you, this doesn't look good for the challenger. At some point, you saw the way Coffee just went like a dart straight down. At some point, the referee he, Sean McLaughlin. He, he marks out here. What's going on? What, here comes uh, Wolfgang as well. There's Scott Reed as well. A lot of concern, obviously. Part of our management team here in ICW. Oh. And 
Meanwhile, Stevie Boy pacing, wondering what the hell's going on. Thomas Cairns, our senior referee out here. The champion wants to know if he's won. Fans, it's pro wrestling. It's pro wrestling. Anything can happen. This doesn't look good. Coffee went down. The lights went out. You gotta wonder what condition he's in. They need to be very careful. This could be any number After of issues. Everything that's been said. He just knew it was gearing up, gearing up. Well, all that goes out the window, quite frankly, because the long term health of Joe Coffey is far more important. This doesn't look good. Mark Coffey out here checking with his brother. Those two clashed at Fear and Loathing last year. Oh, he's done, he's out. What are we doing? Right, we're getting word. There's a decision being made backstage. Look at the champion's face. It's not exactly one of concern, it's almost one of confusion. And you know what happens now? Is Stevie Boy still the champion? You would have to say that's the logical he's outcome. Off. He's, he's talking, but even from his body language. Well, thank God he's lucid. Thank God he's conscious for a start. We're at a bit of a, a loose end here, to be honest. We're, we're due to have a main event. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we're very sorry. Obviously, the health and safety of the performers is at the forefront of ICW. What do we do here? We'll try and get an update on what's happening as soon as possible. Wait, do you hear what Stevie Boy just said? What? Oh, he... The hell just happened. Did he fall? What happened? I'll give you bullshit! Oh, of course! <laughs> Fucking... Oh. Of course! That's Every single man. one of you! I control this place! I control it! How manipulative was that? Not only... I'm an icon! I'm the best thing Who that this in? company has ever seen! I am a Scottish wrestling legend! Who was out? He said he's not a man, not a king, he's a god. Who came out to check on him? It was Wolfgang and Mark Coffey. You can say all you want, oh. but every single one in this building bought it. I'm not a man, I'm not a king, but I am a god. Oh, but Stevie Boy. Maybe a knocked out god if he's not careful. Here comes the champ. The demigod here of ICW. Oh, oh Coffee just shut Stevie Boy down. Just like that. As he's even changed his tights, the Gallus tights. We'll come back to that later, fans. We're gonna call the action. Oh, taking out the surgically repaired knee. I'm telling you, it it's might be evil genius, but it's still genius. It's only a matter of time. Joe Coffey leaving his mark. The treble is incoming. Grinding down on that leg, you can see it twisting him over. Oh. One leg submission, oh, no the, mercy. The torque, the torque on that right leg. Stevie Boy screaming out, screeching out in pain. Oh, it has to be agony, as the ropes, the referee counting. But Joe Coffey just, well, he's playing God and, here tonight. And, and Kelly Ray, where is Kelly Ray? The Kings of Catch, they're not going to be able to do anything. In fact, I'm going to rephrase that. Joe Coffey ain't playing anything. He is all business. Hey, he's here to win the big one. You might not like it, but he's here to become ICW World Heavyweight Champion. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of kudos. Oh, oh the knee again. again. Oh, chop block. And this is what Mark Dallas feared. Let's be honest about it. This is what Dallas feared. He looks at someone like Stevie Boy as a younger brother. He knows how ma malevolent and malicious Joe Coffey is. That's right. The deity of pro wrestling. Well, he the psyched us all out. The insane Iron God. I was fooled, I don't mind admitting it. Now haunting the Reverend Stevie. Oh, he's gonna do it again, he's gonna do it again. Oh, oh, that has to be a shattered knee. That's it, he's done. That if could it, be another year on the bench. Wasn't I think it could be longer, I think it could be done. That's what Joe Coffey's been saying. Oh. I'm here to take you out. I want people to know that every time they whisper the ICW World Heavyweight Champion, every time they praise me, the Iron God, they will remember I put you down. 
Joe Coffey came here with one mission in mind. That has become the ICW World Heavyweight Champ by any means necessary. That's and it. we're seeing an example of it. That's it, James. It's through nefarious means. Stevie Boy is managing to get a leg scissors, managing to get control out of desperation, only a kind of one, though. Coffey, Coffey knows he's in the grip there. You see Stevie Boy using those thighs, rolling his man over his shoulders, one. Well, Coffey's so thick, it's hard for Stevie Boy, as long as his legs are, to get any any uh, strength in that grip. But look at Joe Coffey again, just hammering away with the point of the elbow. Grinding down on those knees. Right into the side of that knee. Trying to separate those legs now. A bridge back, only a count of one though, forcing Stevie Boy to use those hips. And Stevie Boy that basically had to put his entire body back together on how he would move in that ring before he had utilised, obviously, the jumps, the athleticism. But he had to make sure his all-round game it had to be changed in order to compensate. Oh, and again, just a boot. Well, Stevie Boy did say that he was in immense pain when he won that ICW title. He didn't hide Trying that. Trying to go for Hurricanrana, straight into the waiting arms of the Iron. Oh, no, 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 God. it is straight across that leg that could easily rip apart that knee. Patella tendon straining. Look and at the agony. Look at that, he can't get anywhere near the ropes. Pain etched across the face of the ICW champion. Oh, Finally nice gets get there. It. And it's a small temporary mercy for Stevie Boy because Joe Coffey has that look in his eye. The all-powerful Joe Coffey standing in the middle of an ICW ring after occupying space, playing mind games with Stevie Boy. Joe Coffey was born to be a champion. He knows it, we all know it. The omnipotent Joe Coffey in this match. Stevie Boy defiantly, and that is where he's born from. That is where he lives in that realm. But until Joe Coffey can prove Body otherwise, shot. Stevie Boy is still the champion. Can he get him over? No, no, no. Oh, it's Too that much knee. in the knee. But Joe Coffey will have no issues. Oh, oh my God! Oh! oh, that might have been an, all that Stevie Boy had left. Straight into that release driver, almost a corkscrew suplex. Think of the power it takes in your legs to lift a man the size of Joe Coffey. Stevie Boy managed it, but again, how long can he at, keep this look up? Look at the look on Joe Coffey's face. Just fired with anger. Oh, here's a baseball slide, managed to stay out of the way. Here comes Stevie Boy, a flurry of punches. And again, straight into the body shots. Coffey brushes them off. Oh, look at that, just sideswiping the champion. Oh! Was that a tooth coming flying out of the jaw? Might have been more than one. Now look at these punches right to the side of the head of the challenger. Oh, nice leap. Oh. Wow. A devil and a god. Joe Coffey now trying to shake it off. Same goes for Stevie, Stevie Boy. Boy. Still quite unable, still the balance is still off. Can't blame him for that one. He's going again for the oh, suplex. Again. Possession him right in that ring apron. Might have been ill-advised. Oh, managing to swing out with that knee, didn't get all of it. Satellite oh. DDT. Oh, the float over. Keeps that clutch. Stevie Boy. And again. Straight to the drive one. Is he gone? No. Almost a falcon arrow there from the champion. Referee Sean McLaughlin says that the challenger got his shoulder up. The count of two, that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the richest prize in European pro wrestling, the ICW World Heavyweight title. And that's what big money Joe, big prize Joe, covens more than anything. He wants to become that three-time champ. Here comes Stevie Boy, straight to the waiting arms of the challenger. And a oh, look at this! Oh. A choke swinging his man straight round like it was nothing. Could rip Stevie's head off. Straight to a side lock slam, hooks the leg, one, two. Not enough to keep his man down. Two and a half, maybe even closer than that to three. Joe Coffey scans and analyzes. Look at him, just Same reminding up. Stevie Boy who he is, the situation he's in here. Joe Coffey would be, love to be nothing better. A man that trains night and day. A prize fighter in pro wrestling. One of the finest we've ever seen of that, there is no doubt. Wants to be effectively a supreme being in pro wrestling. 
such as what it does. The spectre, the challenge, the addiction. We've seen this before. Once Coffee gets going, he's pretty hard to stop. Oh. Straight to the ropes. Pump up. Oh. Boom! Drops his man. That will be the all. Fifth level of hell. Oh, almost. Stevie Boy's showing a lot, a lot of resilience. That knee must be in tatters by now. And there will be no guardian spirits of the rest of the filthy generation getting involved in this match. Oh, they know that Stevie has to do this all in his lonesome. He has to prove to the world, injured wheel or not, that he can defeat someone with the caliber, the standing of Joe Coffey. And Joe Coffey says he needs to win the title back to bring back the sanctity of the world's heavyweight title, such as what it does to the mindset of these athletes, the addiction of the championship, and that's what it is. Stevie fighting desperately to get rid of Joe Coffey. Coffey has been going cold turkey for two years and it has driven him wild. What a lariat that was, sending the champion spilling to the outside right into that steel safety barricade. A referee, Sean McLaughlin, keeping a close eye on this match. Can Stevie Boy, if that leg injury really does continue to be a factor, how much long is it before he is simply unable to defend himself, unable to be in a combative position in this match? Maybe that's what Coffey wants, to beat Stevie Boy into submission, but the champion has resilience by the bucket load. Big chop there, brutal, you hear the dull thud into the chest. A return there by Stevie Boy, he is still in it. Bone on bone. A oh, big smash there right to the chest, lighten up. The challenger, Stevie Boy fighting back. Is he gonna go for it? A Glasgow destroyer? No, effortless, oh. effortless by Joe Coffey. But look where Stevie Boy landed, the worst possible place, but rallies with a super kick. Oh God, Stevie Boy's face dragged across those ropes. Everything the champion tries, Joe Coffey has an answer for. That's becoming abundantly clear to me, and I think it's becoming abundantly clear to this huge crowd here in Glasgow. Joe Coffey would love nothing more than to reconquer the world heavyweight division here in Insane Championship Wrestling. That has ramifications that go well without that squared circle, fans. The desperation on the face of the challenger. Oof. Desperation behind those strikes from the champion, too. He's still in there, but exhaustion is setting in fast. And Stevie Boy, he's got to be fighting against pain. He managed to do it against Wolfgang, but since then there has been the ruthless attacks. Oh, wait Super a minute. Flex. Oh. Whoa. He saw both men, the force just sent both men. Shooting back up into the air. And then crash landing back down hard on that canvas. The daredevil that is Stevie Boy. They'll both be seeing lights and not only the ones high above this ring. As you see the scene, the ICW World Heavyweight Championship up for grabs. And the guiding lights of the main event of Fear and Loathing take Joe Coffey back to Bethlehem to the world heavyweight title. Coffey's up, Stevie Boy just about up with him. But the Reverend Stevie, look at Joe Coffey's face, he can't believe he's back up. Stevie Boy, look, a sick twisted smile on his face. Look at that, almost in defiance. Raising the ire of Joe Coffey, the Iron God. Bloody up punches, just swinging wild. And this is Joe Coffey, who spends many an hour on the punch bag. Oh, look at that, he's caught him dizzy. Oh, here he comes, those punches. If it comes down Every to a slugfest, though, you have oh, to believe. Oh, straight to the knee. Oh, again, yes. Over shot with a fall from Nebula. One, for the pinfall two. Now. Stevie Boy managing to tag it straight to the new mercy. Picture perfect. And look at the knee trying to turn Stevie Boy over. He's got all of it. Sits down with all of that mass. And look at the grin on the face of the Iron God. A wicked, wicked grin. He has his fingertips on that treble. Stevie Boy desperately clawing for that bottom rope. 
the deity of destruction. Look at these the insane step. almighty of Joe Coffey. Straight arm strikes, look at the boots of Stevie Boy as well. He kicks right out to the air, look at that with one neutralizing both legs. Oh, that has to be torture for the knee of Stevie Boy, and again, back and to that submission. Almost an inverted crucifixion. Look at the now twisted angle. That by what he's done is he's neutralized the healthy leg of Stevie Boy. Can he make it to the ropes? The core strength of the champion. It's like I say, he had to rebuild his body. Will we see a new champion crowned? The core strength of the champion with one finger, with a fingertip on that bottom rope. That's all Stevie Boy could muster, but it still counts. It's enough to break the hold, and we are back where we started. Joe Coffey Infinite thinks he tapped. spirit of the champion. Joe Coffey asking our referee, Sean McLaughlin, he tapped, right? That was a tap. Bad news for you, Iron God. It wasn't. Stevie Boy, the champ, still in this match. The Iron God looking like a tin god here as he chants for the champion, but I've got to believe it's only a matter of time. But from Nebula, oh! Oh, oh! Blasted him right with a Savant kick. This is it's Stevie's the moment. Destroyer. Right it's down in the it. head. That's got to be it. Two, no. three. No. Oh. Oh, and Joe Coffey, whether by accident or design, spilling outside the ring, managed to roll out. I'm not even sure he knows where the hell he is right now, but he's in the best place he can be. Outside that ring, he can't be pinned out there. What a main event. Sally is. Stevie Boy, defying pain, defying a battering by the Iron King. Oh, no, no, it. look at that, he couldn't even get the momentum up. He's working with one leg at this point. Oh, but he was ready. Oh, was, he played a little bit of possum. Tarant's fair play. The Reverend Stevie is going to fly. Oh, back first goes Joe Coffey into that steel barricade. There's a second one. And the champion trying to rally his troops, get these people involved. He needs their energy now more than ever. Is this ill advised though? The overlord of the filthy generation. Costco! Oh! Not ill advised at all. But he hasn't got it to fall. The ICW World Heavyweight Championship on the line. That's right. We are coming up on the 20 minute mark. Only one man can hold that prize at the end of Fear and Loathing 12. Will it be Stevie Boy the champion or will it be Joe Coffey the challenger who looks a little worse for wear? He certainly does. Joe Coffey has to be wondering. He came in here with all the bluster. He came in here with all the confidence, the distraction, the confidence. And he's now going to be wondering what he needs to do to put down this champion. The world is watching. I went to go oh, to the knee. Oh, look at that. Coffey caught, caught him. It. Coffey caught that leg, Stevie Boy trying to desperately hammer away at the head, the jaw of Joe Coffey. He's had success with that before in this very match. Whoa. Pop up European uppercut, nearly decapitating the champion. Speaking of which, he is not! Oh! oh. What? Stevie Cobb's off! Stevie Cobb's off! It's like I said, he rebuilt his body from the top of his head to the tip of his toes. I can't believe it. German suplex. Oh, but there he is. The Iron God is resurrected. All the best for the Bells. What is on? One. Will he make two. history? Oh. No. Imagine beating Joe Coffey with his own move. Wouldn't that be special for Stevie Boy after all that's been said? After all this beat done here tonight. A man that fell into the void when he was taken off the active list here last year in ICW. Oh, I feels it, the death stroke. Another knockout One, blow. Two, three. three. Oh, no, he didn't get all of it, didn't get all of it. A pouncing knee, a variation of that knockout. I don't know about you, but my heart can't take much more of this. What a main event. Two of the best pro wrestlers on planet Earth today, leaving it all in the ring, doing it the ICW way.
Both men, you can see them trying to figure out what do they have to do. They know they have it, but you have to dig down, you have to take everything into consideration. What are you going to have to do? Put your own body on the line as a weapon? I think both these men would do that in order to win this main event. Because you've got to believe the eyes of the wrestling world are watching. Both these men, no mere mortals, they exist oh, on an astral plane that we can only dream of. But Stevie Boy has something what in Stevie mind. Do? What the hell is this? What's it? He's taking apart that ring. He's taking apart the ring apron. Maybe desperate measures for the champion. It's going to take something monumental to put Joe Coffey down. But I don't know what the hell this is achieving, I have to be honest. What the hell? He's it's like he's trying to strip the ring canvas. The sinister Steve's eyes. lost his mind. And a little smile towards our cameras. What is next? What else can these two men do to one another, Billy? Joe Coffey still down inside that ring. Stevie Boy had a maniacal smile across his face. And yes, he's taken apart the ring. Exposing, taking away the, the, the canvas. The Reverend the, Stevie, you can see that small amount of padding that's there more to protect the, the actual canvas than any wrestler. What the hell is he doing? Well, this isn't good news, not for Joe Under Coffey. That is nothing but hard wooden planks. You can see Joe Coffey starting to come around. Shove a glove like that, so no idea, he must be wondering. Stevie Boy just wrecking the house here. Well, he sold out the house. He might as well wreck it, do whatever whoa, the hell whoa, he whoa, wants whoa, to whoa, it. Whoa. The champion. 800 fans here in attendance. ICW Fear and Loathing 12. And they're seeing something I never thought we'd see this evening. Just rearranging some furniture. And the ring crew can't believe it, all the, you know, they arrived here early to set up this ring properly for a heavyweight championship bout. And now the champion going to extreme measures. He's exposed that hard wood in the middle of the ICW ring, I think he's wanting. Whoa! Oh, and coffee popped up! Again! He's inside out, the match is still going! New champ! New champ! Oh, Stevie just took too long, he gave the Iron King time to rest. There's no one better at playing possum in this industry than the Iron God. Oh, straight with that knee. That's oh, no, no. That's not, not like this. Oh! oh, straight to the heart, exposed wood. The sacrifice. Right to the face. One. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the deity of destruction. The insane almighty has risen once again. The hell is it going to take to put Joe Coffey down for the three? He's getting ready to leave his mark. He will not the, be denied. On the new age pharaoh of Fels, all the best for the Bells. Took off that elbow pad, oh, there again. Once again, again blasting him with that sacrifice, that knee. Two, three, no. A two count this time, but still not enough. What does Stevie have to do? Going oh, up on, you heard it! Right to the back of the skull! Knocked his man straight out, and it's over! Stevie Boy retains! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner! And still! ICW World Heavyweight Champion, Stevie Boy! Did we think it would be any less? Could we have thought for any second after becoming so personal, but take away from that, two premier wrestling athletes. The treble was smashed by the rebel. Unbelievable scenes here at Fear and Loathing 12. Joe Coffey, you know that world title gold is in his future, but not tonight. Stevie Boy, the most unbelievable the most mad, the most insane comeback in wrestling history.